Oh, we are so excited <laughs> when, when you talk <laughs> food and a live guest in studio. Well, Pete Bloom, uh, Blome is with you. I, I knew I didn't <laughs> set up because we call him Panini Pete, but his real name is Pete Blome. Right. But those who love him and love his food, just call him Panini Pete. On the Food Network, you uh, you do so much. You've got two restaurants. You're biting off more than you can chew and chewing as hard as you can. Absolutely. And Stay you have busy. a big pile of something good and, in front of and you. And on both sides of the bay, let's go ahead and emphasize that. He, that. He, he whips up such great food. And besides his restaurants and guest appearances on national television shows, there's so much more to Panini Pete. Sometimes we do good. <laughs> Brought you the beignets today. Yes. This is a good way to get in the door if you come here early and you want to <laughs> just bring food. But, that, that's uh, like the best cologne ever. Um, let's great. talk about Sunday night, the fact that you were featured and how Mobile is really celebrating your greatness and your team's greatness because you're a team guy. Well, the best thing was the Food Network descended on Mobile, and that was so awesome. The food truck race, season five, Tyler Florence's big show, and uh, the competition arrived here. The crew, we were hosting, having a blast, and uh, somehow they decided to, to weave me into the show to do some judging. You know, some people out there liking me an expert, I don't. But anyway, we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. Really got to focus on Gulf Coast seafood and also Mobile. The downtown was packed. It was the biggest turnout they've had for that series in the series ever this year. It was it was amazing. And we were wondering, will people show up? But apparently, we're bigger foodies in Mobile than we realized. Absolutely. I was terrified when they said they're coming down Saturday and Sunday <laughs> afternoon. I said, you know, it's kind of quiet early on the weekends around here. Yeah, yeah, and it was not quiet that weekend. Oh, the they all were out. blown away. When, when we have visitors come in and that you bring them in, what do you find that they're most surprised with when they come to the city of Mobile? I think the hospitality. Mm -hmm. That You know, that old cliche, Southern hospitality. We do such a good job of of welcoming guests and welcoming tourists. They come from out of town and they enjoy the people. The architecture's cool, the history's great, mm -hmm. but they oh, everybody's so nice. And let's talk about the other side of the bay. Of course, you have your restaurant on Dolphin Street. We just moved it around the corner to Dolphin Street, and I hope that's working out for you. Great. Uh, that's what I figured. And it's really nice <coughs> inside, too, by the way. It's the Thank old you. little kitchen, if you've, if you've forgotten. But you have a new place called Sunset Point, I believe. It's the old uh, Fly Working Creek on, Marina. Working on, yes, the old in Fly Creek Marina, the former Fly Creek Cafe. We're doing a seafood restaurant there, hopefully opening in about uh, a month. It's going to be awesome, feature a lot of that Gulf Coast seafood we're oh. talking about. Really good hospitality, great view, big oyster bar. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can we focus I'm stepping up my game. Well, and you did with your beignets. I think yes. we have not really thoroughly explained those to the viewer. Not yet. We haven't because they're just looking and ooing and eyeing. But as you describe what, a, what makes your beignets different from um, New Orleans, I do want to touch on this because this is super important. We do. Our, our troops. We, oh, Pete, yeah, yeah. You, you look at, you know, right there. You have the that Mass American Lord, flag. We've got two tours coming up this year. We're going to Gitmo here in about a month, and we're doing another European tour. It's a group of myself and some other chefs. We can go out and entertain the troops, boost morale, feed them some good southern food, and, and give them some love. Do Thank you them for all those? they do. I have done beignets on, on aircraft carriers in the middle of the Arabian Sea. I have done these. But for those and, uh, who they have love been them. under a rock, and right. they don't know the difference between yours and the others, tell us what makes these so good. It's all about the ingredients. You know, it's, it's a different dough process. There's butter in there. There's eggs in there. They're rich. Uh, they're moist. They're flavorful. Delicious. They're moist. I think that's the thing. They're just sweet enough. And you've got lemon you squeeze over the top uh, of them, which is something that uh, Cafe de Mon and some of the others don't do. Heck no. That's our secret weapon. I stole <laughs> that from my mom. That was her idea. I can tell you, I went in there for lunch and uh, the waitress said, you know, we got some beignets left over for the morning. Have you tried them? No. And Mike Corey and I, a photographer, yes. we're big foodies, and man, it just, we, they were just fantastic. If you haven't been to Panini Pizza and tried Get the there beignets. early. I'm not trying to call it anybody, but I was there yesterday. <laughs> They're yeah. all gone. I missed the beignets. I missed them. Early bird gets oh, the beignets. delivery, much better. <laughs> Very good indeed. Okay, so all your information. Got another show coming up this Sunday. Okay. The Great Food Truck Race is going to rerun. It'll be on Food Network at 6, and then following that at 7 o'clock, Guys Grocery Games I competed in earlier this year, too. So you get to see me and some of my Triple D fans competing head-to-head. -head. And I can't say much, but I will say I do my best to also highlight the Gulf Coast seafood. You and Guy have got it going on. Yes. All right. He's got it going on. Yeah, well, <laughs> and you're hanging on. That's good. Cool. <laughs> and I'm hanging on. We thank you, and thank you for breakfast, too. Thank you. We'll be back. Oh, and sometimes people just don't know what they have in their own backyard, but today thousands of eighth graders will be shown a world of opportunities.